Namaste, I'm Dr. Tejaswini and welcome to Best of Homeopathy. In this video, let us talk about hypothyroidism. Thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland which is present in your throat. And the two hormones it produces, that is the T3 and T4, controls almost every organ and function of your body, including your brain, heart, stomach, skin, muscles, and also most importantly, the metabolism. To explain in simple terms, metabolism is a chemical reaction which takes place in every cell of your body. During this reaction, the food which you eat is converted into energy inside of these cells which is later on used for all of your activities like moving, thinking, growing, digesting, for heart health and so on. In hypothyroidism, this process of energy production or metabolism is slowed down. And that is why different functions of the body also slows down and you develop symptoms like weakness, body pains, weight gain, face swelling, hair fall, irritability, depression, menstrual problems, constipation and so on. The production of these two very important thyroid hormones that is T3 or triiodothyronin and T4 or thyroxin is controlled by the brain. The pituitary gland in the brain releases a hormone called as TSH or the thyroid stimulating hormone. And as the name suggests, it stimulates the thyroid gland to produce these two hormones according to the need of the body. In other words, when the levels of T3 and T4 are less in the body, the pituitary gland produces thyroid stimulating hormone or the TSH and makes the thyroid gland to produce more hormones so that the body is functioning normally. That is why if you look at the thyroid profile test of a hypothyroid patient, you can see that the TSH levels are much higher than the normal range whereas the T3 and T4 are low. There are some common reasons for hypothyroidism to develop. The first one is autoimmune disease. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a condition where the body itself starts destroying the thyroid glands leading to less T3 and T4 production. The second one is thyroid surgery. In cases of thyroid cancer where a part or entire thyroid gland is removed then definitely the T3 and T4 production will be less. The next one is any infection of the thyroid gland. Then you have certain medications, especially those containing lithium. These can lead to hypothyroidism. And lastly, not consuming enough iodine. Iodine plays a very important role for production of T3 and T4. And without iodine, this hormone production will not take place at all. So to overcome this problem, government introduced iodized salt so that every person of the country receives the required amount of iodine so hypothyroidism could be prevented. Following a good diet is very important while treating this condition. Foods that need to be avoided include cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, turnips and radishes, soya containing foods like soy sauce, soya milk or even tofu, processed meat, high sugar containing foods and alcohol. The foods that you need to include in your diet include, most importantly, nuts and seeds, fresh fruits and vegetables, seafood, lean meat and eggs. As hypothyroidism means every part and function of the body is affected, it is very important to undergo proper diagnosis and treatment under the guidance of a doctor. Do consult a qualified homeopathic physician and do not self-medicate under any circumstance in cases of hypothyroidism. Some of the homeopathic medicines which will help in bringing your thyroid function to normal include iodum, bromium, calcarea carb, thyroidinum, sepia, lycopodium, natremure and spongia. So this was a short video for you to understand how hypothyroidism develops, what are the foods you need to consume and what are the possible homeopathic treatment options available for you. If you found this video helpful, do share it among your friends and family. Subscribe to this channel for more such informative content. Stay healthy. Thanks.